Hey y'all, it's me. I'm gonna have to get a new tagline, okay? So, I just wanted to come in and talk about the situation about the 19 year old girl in Virginia who supposedly um, summoned Papa Legba and passed away. So, I did go back. I, I really didn't want to talk about this because I knew that it was something crazy. So I did go back and look at a couple of articles about the situation. All of the articles were written by a non-credible uh, news source. It just looks like some articles, I mean, the even the articles look like they were written by teenagers. You can tell the wording wasn't by any credible news source at all. I mean, it the whole story looks fake. And you know how things will get picked up on Twitter and just get passed around by, you know, people and go viral. So one of the articles that I looked at said that the young lady had posted on her Twitter a picture of a what she thought was a voodoo doll. And she said, now this is under, this is a caption that was supposedly created by the young lady who passed away. She said, oh, I'm going to burn this voodoo doll and people should let other people do whatever religion they want to do. I'm wicked. So I knew then that for one, this young lady did not know what she was doing, nor what she was talking about. Papa Legba has nothing to do with the Wiccan religion. People who practice Wicca are witches. Papa Legba is a Haitian voodoo loa or deity. Some people call them deities. Some people call them uh, loas, but it is in the... Haitian religion. So people in voodoo, voodoo, all of those cultures, that is what Papa Legba comes out of. It has nothing, Papa Legba has nothing whatsoever to do with Wicca or the Wiccan um, tradition or religion or whatever. When you get people that don't know what they're talking about, that don't know what they're doing, for one, there is no power when you don't know what you're doing. You just out here doing stuff. You know, I'm pretty sure the little doll, she probably made the little doll herself, didn't know what she was doing. Now, is this young lady deceased? Who knows? I don't know this girl. It said that something she drowned in her bathtub. So, who knows? There's supposed to be a GoFundMe set up for this young lady. I don't know what it is. I don't know what happened to her. But I wish people would stop um, saying that it had something to do with um, Papa Legba. And I'm not surprised at young people. It's our people that should know better that I'm surprised about. The, the number of people sending me emails. Did you see this? Do you believe this? No, of course not. It makes absolutely no sense. When you read the article, it makes no sense. No logical sense. She didn't even know what she was doing. So how can you say you're practicing Wicca, but you're summoning a voodoo loa? Make that make sense, as y'all say. When you see stuff like this, just because a million people are saying it, don't make it right. This is one of the reasons why I have this channel. So that when you see some things like this, you will automatically say, mm, that makes absolutely no sense. The majority of you have been following me for a couple of years now. I have in-depth teachings about the Orisha, the Loa, Santeria, the Yerba tradition, 
hoodoo, a little bit of voodoo sprinkled in there. And you mean to tell me that you believe some 19-year-old girl summonsed Papa Legba that she knows absolutely nothing about? You believe that? So all of you little scared folks, y'all can calm down, okay? Because Papa Legba ain't took that girl. We don't even know if the girl is real or not. Go find out if she real. Before you go into this. This is just another way of making African spirituality seem scary, horrible. They are, oh my God. Now they out here killing white folks. And y'all out here helping to perpetuate these ignorant stereotypes when it comes to traditionally black religions. Okay? So, if this young lady, if something happened to her, it ain't had nothing to do with Papa Legba. She said she was doing wicked. So, blame one of them witch gods. Okay? If anybody got her it was, what's, what's, I don't even know, I don't even hecitate or somebody that got her. It was Slender Man. It was Bloody Mary. That's who got her. She probably threw a Bloody Mary spell on that voodoo doll and Bloody Mary came and got her. Or, or, or the, the, the witch from, uh, the Blair Witch. It was Blair. Blair got her. Don't be blaming this mess on Papa Legba. Papa Legba didn't have nothing to do with that. He don't know that girl. He out here minding his own business. Blair probably got her. And if y'all keep coming over here talking about what my voice sound like, I'm going to send Mambo Mama to get you. Messing around with people that you don't know, don't know nothing about. So you can keep leaving them crazy comments on that video of mine if you want to. I will send Mambo Mama to get you. Now, I do know her personally. So keep leaving them crazy comments. Y'all better be glad I came on here dressed like a regular person. Have Mambo come knock on your door tonight with Papa Legba. Because I really do know them. Now, the Blair Witch got that girl in Virginia, okay? Now, y'all stop blaming it on Papa Legba. You done made me mad now. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.